Tell your neighbor and say you are seated next to a builder. Hallelujah. Our focus this year is on the theme, Build 2.0. In other words, it is a better way of doing it, an advanced manner of building. We are much more wiser, much more mature as God's people, and we can understand him better as he speaks to us, as he's going to speak to us, as he's going to call us and challenge us for different things in this coming year. And we believe that we are going to experience greater and better results. The subject today is the game plan. Which is a strategy that is worked out in advance. Every coach, every player, every sober businessman, every leader gets into the field in the context of a coach of, or, or a player. They get into a field or in their sphere of influence with a desire to achieve certain things, with a desire to win, with a desire to succeed. There is no coach, there is no player that gets into the field with an aim of failing. But because they want to win, they have to make the necessary preparations and come up with a game plan that is going to help them achieve their desired goals. Without a game plan or a proper game plan, one will fail dismally in achieving what they want to achieve. You might be excited about the year 2020. But let me tell you this. If you are not going to come up with a relevant and with a practical and with, or with a workable game plan, this year will not be a great year for you. You are going to be one of those who are going to be cursing at the end of the year and say, this was a horrible year. What were they talking about at church when they said we are unstoppable, when they said the Lord will prosper us, when they said uh, we, we, we are, we, the light of the Lord will shine upon us. What were they talking about? Because we need to be aware, Barcelona, that everything that we are expecting from God, everything that we desire in our hearts, and everything that we are going to embark on in terms of developing it or building it, is not just going to happen. It will take for us to come up with a proper game plan, like a coach who wants to win in a match. Come up with a game plan as to how are you going to approach this year? How are you going to tackle things this year? What is it that you are going to do differently from how you used to do things in the previous year and you did not experience great things in your life? I know that as I'm declaring that you are seated next to a builder, there is something in in your heart that you want to build, something that you want to develop. Maybe your life. There are certain things that you want to improve, certain disciplines that you want to develop and that you want to, you know, work on so that you can become a better person. You want to build your family, you want to build your marriage, you want to build your calling in terms of your career or the business that you have started or that you want to start. 
You have to, any, because any great thing that you want to achieve in life, you've got to build it. It's not going to fall from the sky. There is no angel that is going to show up early in the morning with the bags of money to give you everything that you need. God has given you the grace. God has given you the strength. God has given you the wisdom so that you can rise up and begin to build whatever it is that he has put in your heart. And if you are intentional about building this year, if you are intentional about your about building your life, about building your family, about building your calling. You need to understand that you need a proper game plan. You need a plan that is inspired by a God-given vision. Are we together? Are we here or are we going home? We know that it is common practice that every person who wants to build a house or build a building will first sit down with a professional professional architect and that person will begin to share his or her vision of the kind of a house that they want to build and the job of this professional architect is to help you as the builder, even though you are not the one who is going to physically build, right? But you are the builder because you are the one with the vision. You are the one who is going to finance this thing. You are the one who is going to make sure that it happens. Are we here, Bazalwan? So the, the, the architect will sit down with you and begin to advise you as to how can you plan for this house. And this architect will begin to talk to you and help you think at length and show you all the possibilities of achieving what you want to achieve as a person. And we can say this figuratively and compare this architect to the friends that you have in your life, the leaders that you have in your life, the mentors that you have in your life, people that you have surrounded yourself with, people that you can go to because if you are a person who do not have people who are speaking into your life in that way to help you enhance your dream, enhance your vision, enhance your aspiration and show you the possible ways of achieving. I'm not talking about people who are going to tell you how impossible your dream is. But I'm talking about people who are going to help you to show you how this thing can be made possible. You need such people in your life. You, you, you need people who are going to give you a different perspective of what you want to achieve. You need people who are going to show you your blind spots because sometimes you can dream, sometimes you can plan and not have enough capacity to check certain things or certain areas of your life. And these people who are like your teachers, like your mentors are there to speak to you so that they can show you different ways of achieving this thing that you want to achieve. But take note, Bazalwan, that this particular plan cannot be developed unless you have a vision first in your heart. You, you don't just go to an architect and say, I want to build, and then he will just draw any other type of a house and give it to you. But you share first the vision in your heart with the architect and begin to talk to this person that this is the kind of a house that I want. And all that he has to do is to put it down on paper because it is very important that whatever that you perceive in your heart must be plain. It must be clearly understood. That's why the Bible says in the book of Habakkuk chapter number 2, it says, the, even though the vision is yet for an appointed time, right? It says, wait for it, for it shall surely come. But before that, it says, this vision must be written down. It must be put down. It must be plain on the tablets so that he who reads it may, may run. That is the kind of a plan that you need. Not just some jargon on a piece of paper that is not going to provoke you into action, but you need something that can be put down on paper. And th that is the first assignment that I want to give 
to you uh, today for this year that if you are not going to properly sit down and plan and write down the things that you perceive in your heart, things that you sense and things that are in line with God's plan and purpose for your life, let me tell you, your life will just, you know, go any direction this year if you are not going to take time. So I am challenging you that in your own corner, begin to sit down and write down whatever it is. Talk to people around you and say, this is what I feel in my heart. This is what I sense in my heart. This is what I see in my life. Be what, what can you say? Find the right people who can talk to you. Because if you can't find such people in your life, Mazalan, you are in danger. I can tell you that right now. Listen to what the Bible tells us concerning people who do not plan properly. It says, without counsel, plans go but in the multitude of counselors, they are established. That is Proverbs chapter number 15 and verse 22. So find people who are going to give you wise counsel with what you... Yes, you have a great business idea. We are not disputing that. Yes, you have dreams and aspirations. We are not disputing that. And your dreams are valid, black child. They are valid. But let me tell you, if you are not going to seek counsel advice if you are not going to find people who can talk to this thing that you are sensing because let me tell you all of us as we are seated here in your own little corner your plan is perfect in your own dream world this thing is going to work naranjani it's this thing has no mistakes this thing is right lento is a wednesday but wait until you practically do it to show you flame because you are not skilled in that field you, you will not think that far so that's why you need a multitude of counselors have people in your life look let me give you a challenge Go through your social media page and scrutinize all of the people that you are following and ask yourself, what is it that I am learning from this person? I'm a post what is it that I am learning? If he's just telling me about it, I don't need you. I need somebody who is going to inspire me. I need somebody who is relevant to my dream. I need somebody who is going to be relevant to what I am building. Not just some random stranger who is just feeding me with junk, with a spirit of discouragement and depression and all of those crazy. Begin to identify friends, even in your phone book. Probably you are not supposed to be here. Let, let me just revisit my last conversation with you. After we talked, did I walk away discouraged? Did I walk away broken? Did I walk away and felt like a sinner? Did I walk away and feel like I'm changing at a corner in the pumil? Or did I walk away inspired and challenged? Then, if you are that kind of a person, then I'm keeping you in my phone book. But if not, I'm changing my circle. Tell your neighbor and say, I'm changing my circle. Lento ngfunugiaka itinga ushobo oltize la bantu. Lento ngfunugienza litinga ya bantu abatabanga ngantela tize at a certain level. I don't want some negative energy around me. That's what people normally say. I don't want some people who are always complaining, always grumpy. And each time I'm going to share my plans and my visions with them, they are going to instead be intimidated. They are going to be, you know, they, they are going to feel small. And they are going to say, hey, I don't need such people around me. But I need big dreamers who are going to charge me up. I need people who see possibilities in everything that I dream with. But take note, Barcelona, it is important that you have a God-given vision first in your heart. The Bible says where there is no vision, people perish. But the English Standard Version puts it this way. It says, where there is no prophetic vision, what does it mean? It simply means God has got to, you don't just go out and randomly pick anything and adopt it as your vision. It has to be a God-given vision because it has to be in line with God's plan and purpose for your life. 
And how do I know that? I know that by simply observing what God is busy doing in my life. Let me read you the message translation of Proverbs 29 verse 18. And hear what it says. It says, if people can't see what God is doing, they stumble all over themselves. But when they attend to what he reveals, they are most blessed. So before you go far, look around and identify what is it that God is busy doing in your life currently and plan according to that. There are people like Abba, Abba Baizai. Like, because why am I saying so? When from a distance you can clearly see that God is at work in this person's agenda. Walk away. I feel God is calling me for something different. And they are feeling their flesh calling them for something different. Listen to what Jesus says. He says, I do nothing. Unless I see my father do. So in other words, I wait for God to work first. And I see what is it that he is doing. And then I simply go with the flow. Here's a statement that once blessed my heart. This person said, in most cases, again, we want God to bless what we are doing. Instead of doing what God has already blessed. I've seen people where you can see there's the grace of God upon this person's life as a business person. I'm a Mundai politician. And God favored you in the business world. What power was about lent is or sevens are anyway. Can't lento it was meant. I've seen people who flourished in the ministry. God's hand was upon them. They were flow. You could see the fruits. And, and all of a sudden, Umuntu Nango said to a old businessman, abandoning the ministry, and they die faster than they can say Jesus saves. Check what is it. Take a stock, sit down and see. Where am I bearing fruit? And let me tell you, if you can, you see our closing statement last year, la, 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 yeah, last year, which was last week, is, was that focus on what you are building. Once you can identify the hand of God, I've seen people in churches where they are flourishing and, and God is using them mightily and all of a sudden, you know, I want to I wanna go and and you know, I sense the Lord giving me a different direction. And of course, because you said you sense the Lord, you did not go to a professional architect. You come with a, that says the Lord already, we release you. But in most cases, I've observed, Ugutilabon, that says the Lord. They go, and no, they go nowhere slowly. After three years, Utibana no muntu ambanda zela zula zula funa yoto. And ukaya kutu, bo ukawe yini. Uzu yosuge linde kute na wekangaka. 
So let's make sure that you take that vision that you sense in your heart. You, you know this is what God has imparted. Listen to what the scripture says. It says, if we don't see what God is doing, we are going to stumble all over ourselves. But once we begin to entertain what God is doing in our lives, we flow with it, we follow it, we, we develop it, we, we grow it. And, and, and the Bible then tells us in a very simple way that you are going to be the, the person who is blessed the most. You are going to be blessed. How, how easy it is, Barcelona, to live a blessed life. God is simply saying here, do or follow what I'm busy doing in your life. Simple. boyfriend. Ifige imu sapaze, ifige imu nye 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 stok suit. Yey, apele nye au muntu pambu wa metro wetu, si buga. Siti wapelu mzalwane, wapelu mzalwane, si konza ka mnanti la, si bugu buso kwa chesu sonke ku mnanti, God busy at work in her life, yana wati koni nte, wayos landeli nto ya kele nga pande. Yamun <laughs> Look at what God is doing. This year, I, I, I like what the, what the Bible says, what Jesus said in the book of Matthew when he said, You know, he's a nigni gimi, nina any cattle and any sin to ayo, niaguni pumuza. And then he says, My yoke is easy and my burden is light. I like it in the message version, Masayiti. Just follow the rhythms of my grace. Uche swang atasha in your pit when Ucha Velesin is king somewhere else. Sit it in a zikona, sila. Look at what God is busy with in your life and follow. Just, just be slim, my one, and just flow. But hey, hey, now we're so serious. Ga kulo ngan ento ya ko esont. Just go with the flow. Umro umano ba pega ngano ti pila na meng pile. Landela logo glandela yo na meng landela logo ngi glandela. And just go with the flow. Just take it one step at the time. Mta na sekaya. Just take it one prayer meeting at the time. One, one, one brick at the time. One stone at the time. Before you know it. 2020, Pella, you are a totally different person. 2020, Pella, you are more equipped as a woman. You are more equipped as a man. You are, you are becoming a better, because sometimes in king, what kind of a man do you want? But my question is, what kind of a woman do you want to be? Or are you planning to be? What kind of a man are you developing? Yasmin and Funi made a so so so. Unjan when? Unjan Mounji. So you need a plan. You need a game plan. If you don't have a game plan this year, then as a guy, I can almost prophesy upon your life. It's, things are not going to end well. You need a game plan. Don't, 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 be, don't be a foolish coach and get into the field without a game plan. You need a plan. You need a game plan. You need something that is going to change your life drastically this year. Think something has got to shift and take you to the next level. You need a plan. 
Because the plan helps you think beyond what you are perceiving in your heart. Because it's easy to be excited about an idea and think, Iso Sebenza Landoxas. But the plan, number one, helps you define the purpose. So the plan there is as an acronym, right? Number one, P. Let me give it to you quickly. P stands for purpose. Your plan will help you define the purpose of what you want to build. Your motive. Why do you want to build what you want to build? Why do you want to do what you want? Why do you want to go to school? Because the purpose, when you plan, it will give you the purpose. You sit down, you ask yourself all the necessary questions. The purpose of your house needs to really determine what kind of a house are you going to build. If you are an indoor type of a person, you can't be building you are going to be stressed in that house. I mean, Maktiwa Mina, you're working in color from scratch. Oh, you see, never find your corner. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm not dab on your show phone, a pant and long bugana no chani. I corner. Give me Netflix, give me remote, give me a big screen, give me sound. That's me. Then was on Tolan corner every day. Unga kindle is going to tell ten minutes. So kabang ge mall. Oba ge bora guako. And the akiwa uwe leon. But you did not plan properly for it. So it the plan defines the purpose. Number two, the plan. Reveals to you what you have learned. You see, you'll be shocked how much you don't know about what you want to build when you start planning for it. You'll be shocked because when you are sitting down with the architect about what you want to build, and then you realize that no, I did not do enough research. I did not learn enough about this course. I did not learn enough about this business that I want to start. You see, if you, I like it. You know, my best moment as a pastor is when I'm listening to somebody who comes to me at him, fundis kala e business. I have a best time of my life. Because I start asking relevant questions. And you get shocked how much a person is misinformed about le business of Funukulkala. They haven't learned a thing about the equipment needed. They haven't learned a thing about, you know, I'm a supplier, your possible customer, they know nothing. And yet, it's something that they feel is going to make them money. Njani. Number three. The plan will tell you about how much you have acquired. As a person, you know now, nah, what are the resources that you have at the moment? And that will more or less give you an idea of how far you can go. When you start. And lastly, N tells you of your needs. What more do you need? On top of what you have acquired, what more do you need? To start building what you want to build. So what more do you need? So you see, why do you need a plan? You have to sit down, interrogate, ask yourself questions, ask, answer those questions. Then you are going to begin to see God coming through for you. The plan is very significant. Somebody once said, a goal without a plan is just a wish. Because somebody said again, planning is bringing the future into the present so that you can do something about it now. So when God wanted to build the tabernacle, what did he do? He called Moses. 
and showed him the plan, the blueprint of how this thing is supposed to be, to be built. And listen to what God tells Moses. He says, make sure you build it according to the pattern that was revealed to you. Make sure. So, so the tabernacle was very important to God. And because it was important, God had to give Moses the blueprint so that Agaki into a funwa huye. So if this thing that you want to build is important to you, if your dream is important to you, if your vision is important to you, you, you better plan for it. Otherwise, it will just give you anything it wants to give you. And you must accept it because you did not plan properly for it. So the plan tells us that it's not only about what we are building, but it's also about how we are building. Planning or coming up with a game plan will also help you count the cost of what you want to build. It will help you know and understand what you are trying to build and what will it take for you to build what you want to build. What sacrifices do you have to make? Listen to what the Bible says in Luke 14 and verse 28. For which of you intending to build a tower does not sit down first and count the cost, whether he has enough to finish it. Verse 29, lest after he has laid the foundation and is not able to finish, all who see it will begin to mock him, saying, this man began to build and was not able to finish. Because if you know, if, if you know that you don't have enough, then you know that you are supposed to go out there and look for more. Find people who are going to help you. Ask questions. Get more resources so that you can be able to finish what you want. So that's why planning is significant. So it's important, therefore, that an entrepreneur needs to get into that habit of sitting down, writing down ideas, interrogating their idea, coming up with plans for their vision, right? So that their thinking will go beyond just be just beyond that idea that they came up with. Beyond the product that they came up with. You know, how many of you watch shows like your Shark Tank? Uh, what's that other one? The, the Apprentice, the other one? Dragon's Den. How many of you watch such shows? What a shock. How many of you want to do business? How many of you want to do business? <laughs> now, one of the things that you see in that show is a person will come in with a very powerful product. toilet. Beautiful concept. And they come and they present. And the investors are sitting down. Say, you bought a product. This is what you want to learn. Buying a car and buying a car. When you are excited about the idea, right? In your head, it's powerful. In your head, everybody needs it. But if you did not properly sit down, how are you? If, 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 or I see ding. How are you going to make us who to see ding? And I'll tell you, most of the things, this is ding. It's not because there's ding. The people who are selling them, they made us believe that we need them. Are we dingy with? the manufacturers make you cut your hair and put on the weave. Ah, you don't like me, ne? Listen, this Apple watch, I don't need it. But look at me, I'm wearing an Apple watch. 
Why? Because April, <laughs> because April made me believe that I need it. And they tell me all this jargon, it sinks your messages when you when you can, you know, if on my color is a color na sewa shini, mangeni messages or ibona nala, mo kichi mekseni, eh, is okchela, the steps that you have done, the calories you have bent, but the phone can do all of that. And who cares if I've missed a call? Mobilento, yeah, money if only I miss a motor in my so thing to my magani message. Is on pass a miss. If only you wash the second message in Ghana. But April made me believe that I need it. So when you when you sit down and you are going to plan, you 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 think beyond just your product. You think about how am I going to get it out there? You think beyond the cause of Funugienza. Because many of us, see, we pursue amanyama cause na makaria zucha nwa remanju uzwe zisha ganja. You choose a cause nge nga yebu kere kama. You, 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 you want to pursue. But if we can ask you, why ufunu wenza le cause? Nama was, we say akuzu kuti, uyo wenza ni, where are you going to work after you have? Kona amanyama cause, Vazolan, that can destroy your career faster than you can, ta- you can say I have a degree. He was the first question that you, there's another guy I met the other time. He was doing some qualification on literature. Uh Uh-huh, exactly. Hey, and the next thing I hear him saying, he's doing a PhD. Literature. And I said, dude, Kwanja Mawenzi literature, seven zap. How does this thing help you? Yeah, who is a woman in Amsterdam? Mas, who we are, no, we are Ufuntile. Probably many of you in Hilla, Nicola, and Nolu Gulay. Why? Because you don't plan properly. Fine. If you have passion for it, yes, study it. But think beyond it to say, Masang eat holy. What am I going to do with it? Then you are talking. Kuna bantu. Who, who are doctors? But you can't awaz no ma baya no ma we medical doctor qualify. But young inte ipupola kibuguba. That's why I always tell people to become a doctor is not a vision. It's a goal. To go to school, qualify to become it's a goal that you need to set and after that think. After that, I am a doctor. Do I want to work in a hospital? Do I want to open clinics? Do I want to open surgeries? Then you are thinking like a visionary. Otherwise, uzotolo mo yimu ndune oga su dog one mad akama sechari akasha banda ba fana na banga nambon abazo sebenze masechari wabu banga si abo dog tabon. I've been talking to another friend of mine. I said, I said to him, "Lau sebenze kona probably." The directors, while a company is selling the line, they don't even know how you produce them. They produce us. Yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, he confirmed it and he said, yeah, we can see the last week, the corner, you know, a, a visit from other possible investors from somewhere and Batu Melatina, even my CEO was not there because they don't have, they were just interested in making money and they found people with qualifications but no vision. And employed them to make money for them. Because people fail to plan. Somebody once said something like this. That if you fail to plan, you are planning to fail. What's your game plan this year? How are you going to tackle this year 2020? How are you going to pull through this year, after that you have done that, I need to close. You need to submit your plan to a higher authority, which is first of all, Unkulunkulu himself, because God has said it very clearly. He said, your thoughts are not my thoughts. 
He said, your ways are not my ways, right? So in other words, the way that God thinks is not necessarily the way that we think. And sometimes after we have planned, after we came up with our own ideas, we need to submit them before God. And I'm challenging you, after you came up with your plan, we are going, we are going to pray as from tomorrow. Submit those plans to God. Allow God to speak into those plans. Listen attentively to the word of God. And listen, take a relevant word that is going to address whatever area of your life that you want to grow and develop. And you are going to see yourself improving and becoming a better version. Unga sabi to submit your plans to God. Don't be afraid. God is not in the business of just, you know, destroying you, rejecting everything that you want to do. But God is in the business of making you better and not allowing you to make mistakes. Yes, into is simple that you can achieve. Ask your neighbor and say, what is your game plan? You need to come up with a game plan. You need to come up with a strategy. You need to come up already as we are sitting now in January. This is the first Sunday. This is the first week. You need to be thinking about what doors am I going to knock on? What companies am I going to go to and talk to already? You should be writing down a list of people you need to talk to before the end of this month. Agunas Kati, if you are going to start more January, the appointment of February, the appointment books are full already. If you want to go to school, baby, you still... You have to start now. Make, make those phone calls. Knock on those doors. Go to people because nobody is going to come to you unless when you identify the doors that you can go to. What's your game plan? I know you have big dreams. I know you have big ideas, but what's your game plan? I know that God promised you that this is going to be a great year, but what is your game plan? How are you going to pull it off? Have you started thinking about it? How many hours have you slept as from, as from last week? How many hours if you, or you are just sleeping every day and you are hoping that things are going to come together. No, 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 it is going to be a better year. Come up with a game plan. What's your strategy? Are you going to play 4 4 2 or are you going to play 4 3 2? Or what's your strategy? What's your game plan? Are you going to attack with a striker or are you going to attack with the middle? What's your game plan? How are you going to do this thing? What is it that you are going to do differently this year? Because if you are going to do exactly the same things, Ozenze last year, let me tell you this, expect the same results that you have experienced last year. You see, he's in the shinch, he's in the summer shinch, let me tell you, you still sleep at the same time, you wake up at the same time, you are still not reading, you are still not improving yourself, you are still not collect, collect, connecting with the right people in your life, you are not engaging your destiny, you are not engaging your calling, you are not, you are not rising up, you are not doing anything different, and yet you are expecting different results. You stumble into things. Even God himself is looking for people who are determined. He's looking for people who are spending those, those nights and inviting the presence of God and allowing the mind of Christ to be at work. Come up with those ideas. Come up with those strategies. Come up with those plans. Sit down and know exactly as from tomorrow. What are you going to do? Now will I soon do an as from tomorrow. It's prayer and fasting. Saturday, I grow experience. Huh? A week after that, there's something, there's a plan in place that is going to drive us. Now, at the end of the year, when we look back as, as, and ask, was this the year of building? We must be able to say that. I can't. Ntia is the year of building. Sasa siyeza sotandas. Nkuluma, ngilosa zetas nyunga. And God himself in heaven will be asking, I said build. So what are you talking about? So you will see, as from tomorrow, we'll be talking about building, 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 praying in different aspects, different areas that are relevant to the church. Why? Because we are intentional about what's your game plan. I need to come up with a proper game plan. That's why the original plan was your tandaza during the third week. But the master of the plan came and said, no, 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 we have to do it now. And the game plan changed. What's your game plan? If you are business early blind, what's your game plan? No, isn't those ones? What's your game plan? Yes, connections. What's your game plan? Nala more connections. Baningi abantu engbazio abatlupega tupegi one more connections. Yeah, yeah. No mina kunobabang mazio. Anang mushukamba hey, 
lezi ndo sezi live kila mba. Kuna minubabe mazi. Natuwa mbona i phone book yake. U surprise ya ni phone book. Ku phone u Tokyo Swai. Akulme na ilaki. Kaya gamba anja al komre. Kasi buza hati. Yey. Waza manta aba kulu ma. Aba kulu ranga. Harunjan maunje. See, this is a person with resources, but no game plan. Because sometimes you don't need people to give you anything. Just connect me with the right person. Just show me the right door. I can know. Sometimes you don't need to. When you you don't have to, you know, exploit them and manipulate them and suck them of the just, just sometimes and say, here is an idea. Who can I talk to? Because somebody somewhere is just waiting for you to come so that they can make that one phone call to somebody and connect you with the right person. But you've gotta have a plan. If you are unemployed and you are seated here listening to me and you don't have a CV, let me prophesy in advance. I'm prophesying upon your life. I'm not giving you a street address. I'm not giving you an ID number. I'm just simply telling you a reality. I'm believing God for a promotion this year. What are you doing to improve yourself lapem seven zin laukon. Why must why must your employer give you a promotion simply because you can smile? What value are you going to add if they give you that promotion? What 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 is it that you are doing now that is going to make you a better person? If you're not planning to improve this year, expect the same results as you have experienced last year, if not worse. If you are here you are believing God who has called you this year among to part to pass you trick. But you haven't applied. Even if you have applied, you have not started planning for how are you going to fund your education and whatever the case may be. You are, you, you are just hoping for intact. Things might not look good for you. That's why little by baby, knock and the door shall be opened. You've got to knock got to knock. Some doors might not be answered, but keep on knocking. Some doors might be opened and shut on your face, but keep on knocking. Some doors can be opened and, and you can be allowed to come in, but walk away with disappointment, but keep on knocking. Keep on knocking. At least you should be sitting down. Mangabe, you, 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 you are believing God for Umsebens. You should be at least sitting down with a list of about 50 companies that you, are, you want to approach for employment this year. Until Until Once Tina mas vuga e seven zayo siya m seven zine na we vuga uye gowa ko um seven zi wakfuna um seven zi unga yegi uk seven zi etfuna ni um seven zi until utola um seven zi. Bam fundi sing funu kala e businessi e manje guti salindi le mbono guti eh ma funu kala e business lako ukwenza e business lako guti le seven zi. A business like one match. What do you do? I'm into I'm into this. I'm into communications. I'm into this. I'm into making my business work. I'm 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 into deep, I'm into business development. You are developing your business. Work on it, baby. Work on it. Wake up. Bend that, bend that midnight oil and work on it. You, you know, you know, search that internet. I go save a loyal data from Facebook and Instagram and all of those. Use that data to make more research. What other companies are doing exactly the same thing? Let me tell you. Let me tell you this testimony. 
Nikulumela on behalf, I'm closing with this. I'm telling you this Nikulumela on behalf of somebody else. Probably one day, Magakona. Uzo ishera yena, but I'm just giving you a short summary of it. Do you know this big construction company? It's not. It's not cheap, right? What's that? What's that company? Greneka LTA. Do you know it? Oh Lord, do you know Greneka? I just want to show you how God works. So one day, Bob Magni is still learning about what's happening there and whatever. And he senses it in his heart. He's like, why don't I approach these guys to buy this business from them? With zero money. To cut the long story short, writes an email, sends them a letter. I want to come and see you because I want to buy this thing. A year later or so, he's owning that company. Greenacre LTA. They had office Johannesburg, they had offices Cape Town, everywhere with a turnover, I don't know of how many billions. Only with these three other guys, Babundos is one of them, and another third one. They took one person who made it his business to buy that business with whatever means necessary that are available at your disposal. This is an ordinary human being just like you who serves the same God just like you. What's your game plan? What are you going to do this year? How are you going to tackle 2020? There are many opportunities available. How are you going to tackle things? I've got my own plan. Do you have yours? Let's stand on our feet. Hold the hand of the person standing next to you. Begin to pray for them. Ask that God will give them a game plan. A strategic plan. Go back home and do that homework. Write down. Plan put it down on paper. That's what the Bible says. Don't have excuses and say, I don't know how to plan. Learn how to plan. If you don't know how to plan, learn how to plan. Learn it. And start doing it. Shando rasakabaya. Menjinzando libakote rukazia. There's money that is available out there. There are opportunities that are available out there. But they are waiting for people with a game plan. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, help us by your grace. Help us by your grace. Help us by your grace, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. To know how to build our lives. To know how to build our families, Lord. Our callings, our careers, our businesses. To know how to build. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Help us. Mighty God, help us, O oh God. Help us, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. We need you. By your Holy Spirit, inspire us, mighty God. Give us ideas. Give us strategies in the name of Jesus Christ. Give us, oh God, show us what is it that we are doing in our lives that we can pursue and follow and experience your blessing in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, we pray. We don't want to experience, oh God, what we have experienced in the previous season. Oh God, we are expecting new, new things. We are expecting, mighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ, new results, different results. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are expecting prosperity. We are expecting favor, breakthroughs, open doors. In the name of Jesus, therefore show us what to do, Lord. Order our steps, Master. In the name of Jesus Christ. Makola prosate, Zembengon dalu mangandela baku ziki dili biku zia. Shapalo katori kapazo zike te di la broke zute te brako talo kazike tori kade. Give us boldness and courage, Lord, to knock on those doors. Give us boldness and courage to rise up in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, that oh Father, we may go out there and begin to do what you have called us to do. That we may begin to build. That we may begin, oh Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God. Oh, to fight for what we are sensing in our hearts, in our spirits, oh God. The devil will not take it away from us. For we know that, oh God, you want to give it to us. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. And after you have planned, arise and begin to build. Because you can't plan forever. You need to arise and you need to begin to build. Knock on those doors, talk to those people, make those phone calls and allow the favor of God to flow through you.